Hey guys, welcome to Tisha Talks. So last Saturday I had my first book signing and it went really well. It went really well. And so I wanted to share my experience, the things that I learned, give you different tips that could possibly help you um, on your first book signing or whatever it may be that you're um, investing or putting out there, right? So in case you didn't know, I wrote my first book entitled Second Chances. And this is basically a story of redemption. It's It talks about a young lady named Destiny, her ups and downs of life, her journey, right? And um, choices and decisions that she made along the way that weren't necessarily the best choices. But she was able to discover that she could redefine herself, that she didn't have to be trapped or stuck in the poor decisions that she made and even the consequences of those decisions, that they, they did not have to shape her her life completely right so um, so I had this book signing and I went with like I went with low expectations because you know just the way I work is easier for me to unfortunately to set my expectations low so that I'm not disappointed because I've, I've never done this before so um, I'm not a seller that's not my gifting um, so I was you know completely out of my comfort zone and I'm unsure of how the day was going to go. I knew that my friends and my family would come and they would support me and um, I would sell those type of books, but I mean books to them, but I wasn't really sure, you know, how I would be able to interact or um, engage with people I didn't know, right? So, so my publicist, <laughs> aka my husband, um, he... Where he is a people person. He is social. He engages people for a living. And so it was really great to have him there with me because I could follow his lead. I could see how he interacted with people. I could see how he conversated. And I just, I just kind of followed his lead. And then once I kind of got a flow to it, it worked out like really well. It became easy, right? So um, let me give you an example of what we may do. Okay, so first let me say, we also had other marketing materials. It's always market yourself, right? So we had postcards and the postcards had a picture of the design on it and it had um, on the back a description of what the book is about, my contact information, um, the website and how to, you know, get in touch with me. So when someone would come to the table or when someone would come, come in because people weren't necessarily just coming to your table. So when people would come in, um, I would be like, you know, hey, um, can you, would you take a postcard? Would you like to take a postcard? I just wrote my first book and, um, and then they would come over and take a, a postcard. I would tell them a little bit about the book and, um, what I found was that, okay, so there were three things that I think that, that were really engaging for people, right? I'll say number one, the cover. The cover of the book is is eye is catching. So when you do your book, you want to make sure that you have a cover that stands out. So that was number one. Oh, and let me shout out Bold Expressions. That is the graphic designer, um, the company that I use to um, design the cover of the book. Her name is Danielle. She is great. Her turnaround period is really good. And um, if you check her out, Bold Expressions. Let her know that I referred you. I don't know that that'll discount you, but you'll at least know that, you know, you're going to get some good work, right? So I had to shout her out because a lot of people have been asking me about this cover. So that was really good. Then I, I had an engaging cover. And then I had, um, oh, so listening to my publicist, we had candy on our table. And so that kind of gravitated people too. Hey, you want to take a piece of candy? And so people were taking candy. So that was another good thing. And the other thing that I don't think that I had really expected, although I, I probably should have, is um, the content, like what the book is about. I think really, um, really connected with people. And so it was like people were buying books um, because of what it was talking about. And then they were buying books for their friends too. You know, this, I know somebody who might be going through this and, um, you know, I think that this would be really good for my girlfriend or for my nephew, for my niece or for my daughter. And so people were buying the book, not just for themselves, but for other people. So it was 
the design that captivated them, the marketing materials, the things that I had that I was giving away, uh, regardless of whether you bought a book or not. And then it was also the content when I got a chance. Like if nine times out of 10, I think if I got as far as being able to talk about what the book was about, they bought the book, you know? So that's pretty cool because you start out when you're doing this passion and purpose thing, you're starting out because you 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 know that there's a call or a tug on you to, to write about it or talk about it, but you don't really know how impactful it's gonna be. So you're kind of like stepping out in faith, right? And so it, it's pretty awesome to see that people are able to relate to it. I mean, the people that have read the book already, have reached out to me and they're like, oh, this part resonated with me. And this reminded me of when this happened to me um, in my childhood or, you know, it, it amazes me how a lot of women, you know, tend to think that this type of behavior is okay. And, and just so many other conversations have sparked out of this. And people have been like, you know, I bought the book and I was gonna read it. And then my girlfriend saw it and she started reading it. And she read the whole book. And she was like, oh my gosh, it's a page turner. And so it's just good. Oh, the other thing, but you have to, of course, buy the book to know this part, is that it's a really easy read. And I kind of, um, you know, contemplated that in the beginning because I felt like, you know, should I, should it be more deep? <laughs> should it be more challenging? Um, but I really just wanted, I wanted to just have a conversation the same way that I'm talking to you now is the way that I wanted it to come across. I wanted it to be easy. I didn't want you to have to go to the dictionary or the thesaurus to figure out, you know, what I'm talking about. So I got a lot of good responses about that. Um, so, oh, okay. So the other thing is you know, regardless of what you're writing your book about, maybe you're gonna write it about budgeting, maybe you're gonna write it about um, entrepreneurship, maybe you're gonna write it about anything, maybe you're gonna write it about strawberries. Whatever you're writing the book about, be prepared to um, share because the book is an extension of you, it's your story, whether it's about budgeting, whether it's about entrepreneurship, whether it's about decisions, it's an extension of who you are right so you're just sharing your story and so after people read it and as you're engaging them it becomes a time of sharing and so you got to be open and i i think that you know that can also be challenging i know for me it's not a comfortable thing but what i've come to realize and i've said this before is that nine times out of ten if you're comfortable you're not growing you're not evolving and you're not stretching yourself and discomfort oftentimes resembles growth and change, right? And so I had to step out of my comfort zone to be able to engage people, to write the book, to share this story, to be willing to share, to be willing to talk to people about tough moments and tough issues in their life. And so, um, but the reward is so, is, is great. Like I never would have thought that this, me being obedient and doing this would lead to, to that, right? So guys, I think, I, I'm trying to think if, if I've covered everything. I hope I have, please let me know. I want to share information with you because I want you to be successful in whatever it is that you do. So if at any time, or if this is not helpful to you, or if there's more things that you would like me to talk about or to share, please let me know. Please let me know if this is helpful, if this is, um, you know, impacting you because that that's the goal. Um, and the last thing, the last thing I, I want to talk about is I got some things coming up. Things are in the works, but one of the things that I'm going to try to kick off, you know, this, this month is I have a private Facebook page, um, Facebook group actually called Second Chances. And it has like the, you'll see the cover, like half of the cover on the banner on the page. And the group is basically um, an opportunity to have a safe community, a safe place for women to discuss some of the issues of life, you know, the things that are in this book, the challenges, and to share our experiences and be a support to each other. 
and so if you want you can go ahead and like you know search it on Facebook and join the group I haven't begun the dialogue yet because I want to give people time to read the book so that we're able to discuss some of those issues and um, and just share and just have a support group where we're supporting each other um, it's all about building community right and so you know that's the next thing that I'm working on as far as second chances is concerned so guys I thank you so much for all of your support I will be having another book signing at the end of the month um, on June the 23rd I believe it's from 11 to 3 p.m. and it's at the Jesus Book and Gift Store in Greenbrook and then um, I'll be speaking at a couple of other events and I also have the book available there but I just really wanted to share with you how my first book signing went I think it went pretty good and I'm excited it's also so great to see um, you know when you put your faith to action and how it how it manifests and how things come of it just out of your obedience and your consistency and your diligence right so I just want to encourage you guys you can do it whatever it is that you are setting your mind to whatever it is that's on your heart to do just go ahead and step out and just trust trust God that it'll work out trust him and so I'm done and um, I'll end by saying as always when passion meets purpose great things happen I'll talk to you guys later bye